Welcome back to the morning show here on the Rise News. I am Adesua Omoruan. And I'm Rafai Singh. It's just a beautiful morning once again, Adesua. Mm -hmm. And uh, the vacant position crisis of the Apex leadership in the People's Democratic Party in Lagos is still on. Indeed. Well, the chairmanship of the party became vacant. Well, following the defection of uh, the SWAL chairman to the All Progressives Congress, that's Moshud Salvador, over in reconciliation with differences. Uh, some party members con have constantly accused former National Deputy Chairman South Chief Olabadi George uh, of being at the center of the crisis of not allowing the party to develop its full potential in Lagos State. Well, the P PDP in Lagos State have struggled for a lot of years. They've never had it so good like they did in 2015, uh, gen during the 2015 general elections, where they produced not le less than six members of a House of Representatives and about eight members of the Lagos State House of Assembly. And while all of this is happening, uh, with us uh, to discuss this and more is uh, Benga Gulaya, he is the Executive Secretary of Alimosha Local Government uh, PDP movement. So he joins us now to discuss, uh, you know, the vacant Lagos PDP chairmanship position. A lot of people say the PDP are up for it this time. Mm. Well, good morning. Thank you for joining us on the show. Yeah, good morning. Thank you for having me. What is happening with the PDP in Lagos? Well, you just said it all. Um, PDP Lagos uh, could not meet up with the expectation of the electorate as an alternative uh, uh, government. Because of the infightings over the years, um, the, 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 the rank and file of PDP has been uh, uh, accessed by the opposition. And, and you know, the opposition has filled in individuals in the leadership of Lagos PDP that you see that close to any electionary period, you see PDP uh, totally losing out. And it is not that Lagosians are not voting PDP. If you look at the, the result of elections, over the years, you have about 6 million electorates in Lagos, voters. And we have never had more than 1 million votes. So it shows that people would rather not vote APC if they don't have an alternative. And for PDP to come out as the right alternative and at least get people a different system, let people try something else. Since 1999 to date, we're having the same set of people unlike other states in the Southwest, who have this alternative, and anybody who got the privilege to become a governor in this state knows that you need to perform. If not, you'll be kicked out. Look at your state. PDP was there. Now APC came in. Now PDP is back. So anybody who become the governor knows that performance is the only assurance you have of a second term. But that is not in, in Lagos, because there is no credible alternative. I'm sorry to say that I'm a member of the PDP because the leadership do not allow the PDP to offer this alternative. And that is why this time around we are saying no. For the sake of Lagosians, look at the last election. Because less than one million people voted out of six million. Out of six million. Well, the, so, la the, the last elections uh, clearly showed how divided the PDP is. I mean, the aftermath the candidate uh, was accused of embezzling funds, and then he went ahead to accuse the leaders in the party in the state of sabotage. Uh, quite a messy situation. Is the PDP ever going to rise above these bickerings after every election cycle? And that is what we want to get right this time around. Uh, you see, we always have one story or the other every election year, somebody accusing the other person, you know, um, we, we, Accusation and counter accusation. That is not the way to go. The way out now is that new leadership must emerge in Lagos PDP. So why has it been difficult to for a new leadership to emerge? What's the problem exactly? I hear you talk about the problems, but what exactly is the fulcrum of it? We have said it loud and clear that the leader of the Lagos PDP the figure that represents legal PDP all this way needs to set aside and let new people come in. I mean Chief Labodi George. We do respect to Chief Labodi George. He is a leader, a national leader in Nigeria, as a statesman in his own right. But you see, you cannot continue doing things the same way and expect a different result. You have done well. 20 years going to 24 years as the leader. 
I think it is time to allow the new breed. Let somebody else come in. Let new people who have this passion, hunger for winning elections, let them come in. But a lot of people will say, the new breed you want, we have seen what they've done in the last election. By default, you know, Mr. Jimmy Agbaje was supposed to be, you know, that new breed and the leader of the party. Uh, the likes of Adebayo Doherty, they're supposed to be the new breed and leader of the party. But they can't take the reins of the party because a lot of people say there's nothing even called the Lagos PDP. Well, you, you know that Lagos PDP will always be active prior to election. All these crises usually come when we are moving to election because some people have been bought over, principally in the PDP, to ensure that we do not win election. And that will not happen again. All the old hands are setting aside. Look at the, the, the rate of uh, at the campaign from the party. With respect to Senator uh, uh, Ogulewe and some other people are leaving the party. We cannot continue to wait for all the leaders to leave. New people are coming in now. And like in Alimo Shona, I am from Alimo Shona local government. How do you become executive sec a secretary of the local government? And you're in the PDP. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, you, you feel that? Somebody like Because that's an APC stronghold. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. Yeah, so how that, did you emerge? Now, now, look at the result of the election from Ali Moshe local government. Ali Moshe local government have over one million voters. Ali Moshe local government is bigger than about six states in Nigeria. I bet the, the vote from Ali Moshe, even for the APC that won the election, was just about 200 to 300,000. The challenge we have in Ali Moshe is that the leadership from the state, you know, Lagos, Lagos PDP is like a brand. No matter what you do at your local setting, the national brand, the national image of the party goes a long way to affect the party at the local setting. In Ali Moshe now, we are bringing the elders of the party together to serve as the conscience of the party. The elders council of, of PDP in Ali Moshe, led by Honorable Alani Ige. They are the BOT at the local government level. And we brought in a structure of an apex of the movement, led by Eda Dadaulayenka. These are people who, over the years, are passionate about winning elections. And we said, OK, if the PDP at Lagos State level is not ready, Ali Moshe is ready. We want to win Ali Moshe for the House of Representatives, the House of Assembly, the, lo the local government chairman, and all the positions in Ali Moshe, and offer quality votes that will help in winning Lagos State. When we get it right in the Limo show, half of Lagos State has got to But you don't right. answer my question. hope you know that. Yeah. I said, how did you emerge? Wow. It's because we are ready to do things rightly. How did you emerge? By, 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 by privilege, I'm a trained journalist. And the party needs somebody who is not a full-time politician, you know, to say it, who is passionate about getting the party right to come in and handle things. I run the movement like an admin secretary. And the leaders of the party, unlike in the past, are ready for a young man like me to man the system. And you know, it shows that the party is ready to do things differently. Unlike the days where you have people being seconded by the power that be into positions. The young people in Lali Moshe are taking over now. You talk, you talk about the national brand of the PDP, and so let me ask you about the national leadership of the party. Oh. How would you describe their role when it comes to Lagos PDP politics? So far, do you think they've done enough? Are they even involved at all? Uh, recently, the National Working Committee set in uh, uh, a, a group of our leaders to discuss with the leaders of uh, Lagos PDP, led by the Senator OB. And, you know, it shows that the National Working Committee have information. You know, this is a party that have constitution. If there is a vacancy in the position of the chairman of the party, the constitution has already taken care of that. The, 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 the state executive uh, committee should have come together, nominate somebody among them to take over this position. Section 47, subsection 6 of your constitution. Thank you so much but, for that. But... I mean, it's so glaring there, that section, yet you have not been able to implement it over how many decades? That is the challenge we have when you are nominated, when you are, uh, uh, you are foisted on the party by a leader. So uh, the PDP in Lagos State has been 
carrying out illegal functions when it comes to party politics, and you want legal chairs to take you seriously? Not illegal. Presently, the, the position of the chairman for Lagos PDP is vacant. But we have other members of the executive. They, they, they are allowed to run the party. He has a vice chairman. Naturally, in every organization, where the chairman or the president is not there, constitutionally, the vice chairman can run things for some time. But, but because some power that be want to insist that some personality should emerge as the chairman, contrary to the position of the constitution, and that's why the national leadership have to come in and say, let sanity reign. It, Let us do something. But, but it's sanity raining. I mean, because, and I, I was asking you deliberately, how did you emerge? Because there's been a lot of kickback as a result of you, your emergence, even in your local PDP cell in Alimosho. And you know those, those fights. You know those uh, animosity towards you. A lot of people say pretty much you yourself were sort of like imposed on them. That's what a lot of people are saying in some quarters. Well, well my, my position is not an elective position. Yeah. But I, some people were saying you are not even the person that, are, that is ideal for that position. Oh, oh well, you, you see, this That's is, what they're saying. That, I mean, that, I have my ears to the ground in Ali Now, no, no, this, is, this is politics. <laughs> now, there will be a lot of people that may say one thing or the other. Some time ago, I've been the, the, the publicity secretary of the party at the local government. And, and today, I am executive secretary of this movement. I've paid my dues over the years. I've been in PDP since 1998. I joined Alimosho, I mean, I'm moving to Alimosho PDP in 2009. And since then, I've been involved in the system. There is no tussle over this position. Actually, the intention of the movement is to just do things right. So no agitation, no issue over this. Well, I'm surprised that you say some people feel mm. I am not the right person to man that position. Well, every man is entitled to his opinion, but it's, I'm just hearing that for the first time. I want to ask you another very important question. The fights that are constantly going on between apparently two big wigs, like I did mention, even prior to the last election, Adebayo Dougherty and Jimmy Agbaje, that was settled you know, by the party. On other elections are soon to come in the next four years. It is going to always be the case. A lot of people still feel disenchanted because they say Jimmy Abuadji has a way of coming and taking the ticket, and those that have worked for the party are not given the pride of way. They say those are part of the factors that doesn't make PDP Lagos stand on its toes because it looks as though it's a joke. We will go for a quick break. We'll come back and talk about that. Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Benga Guleye is still with us in the studios. He's the executive secretary at Limosho Local Government PDP Movement. Thank you for staying with us. Thank you. Rufai Sorry. had a question right before that break. You want to respond to that before I ask you my next yeah. question? Uh, yes, um, you, you of the view that um, uh, would, would the PDP get it right? And definitely we would do that. This is usually about um, uh, bringing in Chief Jimmy Agbaje, uh, overriding other people who have served in the party for quite some time. Politics everywhere is local. Picking the party candidate during the electionary period have a system. There are delegates that will come from each world ar around the state. And these delegates are leaders of the party in their own right. These are the people that will decide and vote for the Party flag bearer for gubernatorial election. Simple. That is how it should be. Now, you can be in the party for 20 years. If you are not able to command the respect of those people, they will not vote for you. It's as simple as that. So if I have been in the party for 20 years and I want to be the governor of Lagos State, then I must be able to convince these people. And, and convincing them, you know, is not limited to talking on TV. You need to identify with these people. You need to meet with them one-on-one. -on -one. You need to respect them. So you need you, to respect them. So what are you saying invariably? What I'm saying is that, now, now I, I give it to Jimmy Agbaje and some other people. Whenever this uh, such election is coming up, they visit all the local government one after the other and identify with these people. Share your program with them. 
Let them buy him into your, 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 your program. And then they decide who to vote for. It's simple. What we want now is an enabling environment for such election. It's not limited to the governorship. Okay. Even the, the senatorial, the, the, the local government election and the like. Let people choose who they want. Well, you said the National Working Committee has uh, visited Lagos, uh, is involved in, in the exactly. issue at the moment. Exactly. Uh, some names have been tipped uh, to be in the race for the next chairmanship. I don't know if you know, but uh, quite a few names. Uh, the former gubernatorial aspirant of the party, uh, Deji Dohati, um, Sunday Olaifa, the chairman of the PDP local government chairman, and Ajagbe Adejumo, uh, who is currently the state vice chairman. How do these three stand in that race? Well, as a party man, I have my opinion, and I have my choice among the three. But sincerely, they are party leaders in their own right. And they have served the party in one capacity or the other. Whosoever among these three will do a good job. But sincerely, we may need to look at their profile, how thirsty how ready are these people, are these people for the desired change we want in PDP? You mentioned Mr. Olaifa. As a local government chairman of PDP, what was his performance as a local government chairman? What were the results? We were able to win election during his time. If he was able to deliver as a local government party chairman, there's the tendency that we perform as a, as a state chairman. And Mr. Ajagbe is the current vice chairman of the party. He's the leader of this party in his right. He has play, paid his, 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 his dues to the party. He's very competent. Engineer Doherty is equally competent. But the fact is that if you are to choose among these people, then let the members of the party who will bear the brunt of their misgovernance be the one to decide. Simple. Okay. You, you keep saying this resurgence of the PDP, but, but is it possible? Is there any time PDP have ever won elections, governorship elections in Lagos? I mean, night night, sorry, me. Uh, afterwards, you had Fusha Williams. Fusha Williams was about the closest of blessed memory you know, that came close. We saw how we went with Musili or Baniko Ro, uh, leading up to Senator Wahab Dosumu, and uh, spiraling down to Jimmy Agbaje. In all these years, we have never really been able to wrestle, apart from Funshaw Williams. So uh, is there another Funshaw Williams offing that can, okay, wrestle the might of the APC in the state, or is just hope, hope, hope you're having? Or maybe I, I should just make a correction. Not Senator who have this. I mean, uh, uh, Ms. Adis, uh, Adis, 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 sorry. Yeah. Adis, 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 Adis. And, and even the 2015 election, the result was quite close. Quite close. And I must tell you sincerely, we lost that election not because APC presented a superior candidate. Not at all. 2019 election, we are living witness to it. Non-indigenous in Lagos State was practically disenfranchised. Oshodi, Amuwa Dofi, Ajiromi Feludo, areas where non-indigenous are in huge numbers are not allowed to vote. Now, that wasn't a presidential election where we had this couple. Even in this, look, look, for the presidential election, practically they stop people from voting. You have it on TV. And so, one, one week or two weeks after for the governorship election, they did not even allow the people to come out. They were threatened from voting. All that aside, all that aside, if PDP gets its act right, we are not even passing the buck to the APC. Not at all. Leave the APC with these problems. Negotiations are fed up with APC. Are you, how sure are you? No, no, no. There is not well, going to be election. How sure are you no, about winning that? Winning an election. Fed winning, up with a party that keeps winning every time. No, They've no. been winning since 1999. The party keeps winning because PDP is not offering alternative. So that, what are that, you saying? That, that, Jimmy that, 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 wasn't a good alternative? Uh, uh, because PDP is fighting within the PDP. I know Chief Jimmy Agbaje will tell you this over and over, that 2015 election was as good as one. 
But within the party, we have some individuals who are more comfortable with having the opposition continuing in government. And these people have to leave. Some of them have left. Some are still there. Are these people? They need to leave. Oh, your, 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 your guess is as good as mine. You know them. Who are these people? I don't know them. Uh, let me know. Where, where we have such people, not only at the state level, we have some people also at the local government level. Some of them are leaving the party because things, it's not business as usual. It is not business as usual. And then some of them were in the party because we control the party at the federal government. So whether Lagos win the election or not, they will be compensated, they will have patronage from the federal government. So when such patronage, when such like these are no longer available, they, 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 they do not really understand party politics. What and has been the response of Chief Olabode George? Because you said he seems to be the obstacle to the PDP getting it right in Lagos. What has been his response? You know, like I said, we respect Chief Olabode George so well. He is a leader of our party, not only our party. He's a former governor in Nigeria, military administrator. He is a statesman in Nigeria, so we give him his due respect. But what we are saying is that naturally, if you man a system for over 20 years and you are not having results, naturally, you should expect new people with new ideas. So you are telling him to, to retire? Come. He said you recently yeah. that he may even consider retiring from politics. Does any politician at, at retire? Over, at, at over 70 years. Does any politician retire anywhere in the world? Retire from active politics. Mm. Retire but, from but, partisan politics. But can a politician truly retire? Of course, he has so many people. Chief Olusha Gumbasanjo has retired from politics. <laughs> active, <laughs> active partisan politics. Active it's partisan not, politics? Yes, active partisan politics. Obasanjo has retired. He never attended any BOT meeting. He never attended any party meeting. So he has retired from partisan politics. Is only playing national politics in his own way. We have so many people who have resigned from partisan politics. So Shibola Bode George can decide to look, even if he leaves the party today. Recently, the leaders of PDP went to Obasanjo to say, you are our leader, whether you are with us or not, we identify with you. Mm -hmm. So Lagos PDP will still give Shibola Bode George his due respect any day, any time. So his comments that he may soon retire gives you hope that your party will get it right. A good is that what you're one, saying? a good, good one, a very good one. But don't you think you need somebody as formidable as because okay, if he, like quoting your words now, if he retires now, who is the dynamo that can push you know the the machinery of the PDP? Who who can deliver? Who has that you know federal uh, might as it were? Because. It's not as though that the PDP in Lagos can effectively mobilize themselves. You still depend on the federal, and that's why you still take laws from the federal. So who can really push? Let's say Lagos PDP without Olabode George. Who? You? There are so many leaders in Lagos PDP. I'll just mention a few. Mention them. You mentioned Chief Jimmy Agbaje. He's a leader of PDP. If you do a profiling of Jimmy Agbaje, you know he is a leader in his right. We have Chief Mrs. Aduke Minor, a BOT member of the PDP. We have what's their influence level, what's their acceptability level? I mean, Mrs. Aduke Minor, a lot of people across board might not know her. Jimmy Agbaje, oh, yeah, he ran for election a couple of times. We're saying people of national, I mean, is Mrs. And is Mrs. Aduke Agbaje known in Kafancha? And that is the problem we have. That's the problem we have. Look at the last election. A lot of intelligent guys came out to contest for the presidency of Nigeria. And the first question is, who knows them? Not, need, about, not, not about what can they offer. But you need name recognition. Are they, are they, are they competent? Now, we have, I, I mentioned Chief Jimmy Agbaje. He even contested to be the national chairman of our party. So if he is operating, not, not as the chairman of the party at Lagos level, no. We are saying as one of the leaders of the party. We have former chairman of the party who are still within the party. Like Honorable Koshwedo and some other people. They are still within the party. But these are people who have made up their mind that they would rather be servant leaders. Finally, they just before we go, um, so from all this crisis brewing in the PDP Lagos state, uh, Lagos residents should give up hope that the PDP will be a viable opposition to the current 
gov government in the state. Not at all. You have gone mum on issues of governance. La Lagos is getting it right because PDP is putting his act together. Somebody like myself and so many other people who are Lagosians and they desire a better government for Lagos are coming into the PDP today. And these are people who are not interested about sharing a world of view. They're just interested in getting things right. And more of these people from across the 20 local government, 37 healthy DAs are gathering together. All and right. some of our leaders are leading this movement. Thank you so much, Benga Ogunle, for coming on the show this morning. We wish you the best in your party. Thank you so much.